Uh, well, welcome to the Southland Grand Prix, and I'm uh, joined by Sebastian Kawa, who's our today's winner. Congratulations, Sebastian. Thank you very much. Uh, so tell us about your day. Uh, <laughs> it started at night with thunderstorms, <laughs> so they woke me up. But uh, uh, today I was very careful in the beginning. Uh, yesterday I was too careful, and uh, today I think it paid off because... Uh, uh, because we took uh, a thermal which was really necessary on the la on the first turn point, downwind turn point. Uh, it would be better to get some altitude before we reached this turn point, but uh, there was nothing so interesting. Uh, so I decided to stay in it and to drift even behind the turn point. And this altitude was necessary to fly straight, and this allowed us to fly a little bo bit more to the west than the other group and they were just stuck before the thunderstorm and we were in better position before the thunderstorm. Uh, from, a, from a distance you couldn't see it, so it was just just luck. Mm -hmm. So you, you say there was a thunderstorm, but it looked like a couple of cells uh, near the first turn point and you went to the right of them? Uh, the first turn point is, uh, wasn't a problem. Uh, the second one was, uh, was the problem because it was raining 12 kilometers before the turn point and we had to fly through this rain and even on the other side it was still raining, so it was like 20 kilometers in the rain. Okay, and after you got through the rain, it was a straight run home? It was very easy. Uh, I think people were lucky because in the shadow of this thunderstorm they got some lifts already. Uh, there were a few guys which were very low. Uh, I was high enough to fly just easily to, to the west, and I got three, four meters per second, and I went just, just flew home. And, and you were with Christoph Abade at the time? I was a little bit surprised uh, because he was very close on the finish line. And, uh, but I think when you are leading, uh, you're always in the um, not so advantageous position. So he flying behind me, even 100 meters lower, could choose a better routing uh, between lifts. Uh, it was sinking very strongly, heavily. And uh, he was able to avoid it looking at my trace, what I'm doing, what the air is doing with my glider. So he may be deviating for a few degrees to the left, to the right. He was flying in the better air and he was able to ca almost catch me. <laughs> uh, five seconds, I believe, was the difference in time, but we're very well done. Uh, that puts you in third place uh, overall at the moment um, with better weather tomorrow. I hope so. <laughs> I hope for easier days. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much indeed, Sebastian, and congratulations again. Yes. Thank you very much.